This video is for educational purposes only and only competent persons should attempt the installations shown in this video. Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. And today I'd like to show you how to install the cheapest 13 inch flush mount ceiling light in Home Depot. <laughs> so this is the box right here. The thing that inspired me to make this video is I saw guys going out of the store with cartloads full of these things. I have a laundry room here that doesn't need a, a fancy light. It just needs a light, you know, nice clean one that works well. So I went and picked these up. It's, it's two lights in one box for, with tax is about $24. Here's a few of the tools I'm going to use. This is the new uh, Kinepex forged pliers. I just got them. So I'm happy to be using those. Got a little razor knife. Got my Fluke 1 AC voltage sensor. Got some electrical tape. So let's get going. First, I'll remove the old light. And these kind of lights, the way you remove them, you just twist it like that and it comes off. So there's a couple bulbs. I'll save those. The new light's real inexpensive, but it does not come with bulbs. Uh, the circuit breaker's off, but uh, let me double check. Put my Fluke 1 AC right in here. Okay, it's not hot. Remove the mounting screws and pull down the light so that you can get access to the wires. In no particular order, disconnect the white wires and the black wires. A good point here is that these wire connections should be in the metal box, not in the canopy of the light. And remove the ground wire, which is connected to the mounting strap of the old light. On a newer house, you'll be disconnecting the ground wire of the light from the actual ground wire coming out of the light box. This house was built in 1957, so there's no ground wire in this light box. Next, remove the mounting screws that hold the mounting strap onto the lighting box. Now, since this is a 1957 house, these screws are straight slot. Remove the mounting strap. And here's the two wires. They both have white on them. They both have black. Who knows which one's hot and which one's neutral. So I'm going to put a lever nut on here. And I'm going to turn the circuit breaker on. Okay, this one's not showing hot. This one is. So this one is the neutral. And this is the hot black wire. Now I've turned the circuit breaker back off. And I'm going to wrap the neutral wire with white electrical tape. And I will wrap the hot wire with black electrical tape. In this way, the wires will be both protected with the layer of electrician's tape. And they will be properly identified for the next do-it-yourselfer or electrician who wants to install another light. This is my Fluke 117 electrician's meter. I'm going to take this black lead. I'm going to put it in the white wiggle lever nut. See, like that. And click it down. Okay. And then I'm going to take the red lead. I'm going to put it to the wiggle lever nut on the black hot wire. Push it in there. Click it down. So with my two leads attached, it says 0.0. .0 volts. So now I'm going to go turn the circuit breaker on. So now with the circuit breaker on, it reads 117.9 volts AC. So that's our voltage reading. And we did it without exposing ourselves to a bare wire at all. Here's what the light looks like in the box. This is the dome, it's glass. Got to be very careful with this. And Here's the light right here. And all the various screws and so forth. Now turn the circuit breaker back off. And our first move will be to install the new mounting strap. They furnish you with two short 832 screws. The wire size is eight and there's 32 turns per inch. That's a common electrical size. Tighten up the mounting strap screws. Here's what it looks like at this point. Next, we'll be installing the light 
mounting screws shown here in this picture. But because this is a 1957 house and the boxes are so small, we're presented with an interesting problem in that these screws are going to run straight into plaster when we tighten them up. So my solution is to take a pair of wire strippers that have the screw cutting feature on them and cut these screws down to length so they're just about an eighth of an inch longer than they really need to be. And when you tighten them down, they'll go into the plaster about an eighth of an inch, but it won't hurt anything. And it will secure your light very well. I cut about a quarter of an inch off of each screw. I'll screw them in a little ways into the strap. And I'll connect the grounding wire from the light to the grounding terminal on the strap. The white wire and the black wire from the light come with push-in wire connectors. So you take the white house wire and you push it into the connector on the white light wire. And the black house wire goes into the connector on the black wire for the light. Now you have to get these screws, these two screws, through these holes. The wire connectors go up in the box. Now locate your screws through the holes in the light. And when you find your screws, push the light up and twist it clockwise. And now tighten up these screws with a Phillips screwdriver. We have the body of the light installed. Now this is called the nipple right here. This is the hex nut. And this little piece right here is called the finial. So screw the nipple into the body of the light right here. And screw it in all the way. All the way. There. Now tighten the hex nut like that. Put a couple bulbs in here. Okay, now you put the glass piece on and you put the nipple through the hole there. There you go. Now you use this washer. It's like a decorative washer. You put that on there. And now, da -da, the finial. There you go. Now I'll turn the circuit breaker on and we'll see if it works. It works great and although the ceiling needs a little paint touch up, the light is very attractive. I'll put links in my video description for a variety of wire strippers that feature the screw shearing capability and I'll put links in my video description for the Fluke 1AC voltage detector, for Ulfa razor knives, which are the best, I think, and I'll put a link for the new Kinepex Forge wire stripper. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.